Hi, it's Shoei, and today we're going to be watching Superman and Lois Season 1, Episode 1, Pilot. I'm so excited to watch this show. I never got round to it because I've just been very busy and there are so many DC-esque shows, so I'm really excited to see what this one is like. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Thank you so much, Jarell, for sponsoring this on my Patreon. If you're watching this reaction on YouTube at some point in the future, the wonderful Jarell sponsored this reaction going up at the end of 2022. Hello, this is Future Joy just popping in to say that these reactions will be up every Sunday on YouTube and on Patreon, I am just starting season two. I started season two on Thursday. So if you want to get the unedited versions of these reactions, they're all on my Patreon. And also you can get the unedited versions a whole season ahead. And I'm going to be going through to the end. We'll catch up on season. Like, going to go through all of season two, all of season three on Patreon. And YouTube will also be getting them as well. So yes, I hope that makes sense. I um, I, I really like Superman. I am not the biggest expert on it. I have seen like six seasons of Smallville, most of the movies, and obviously the Arrowverse. Um, but I'm excited to see this version because I think it's later in Clark's life than we often get. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's go. My mother called me their greatest surprise. You can say that again. And boy, there sure were lots of them. <laughs> Interesting suit. Cool costume. Thanks. My mom made it for me. <laughs> but my most I told Lois who I really was, where I came from. I actually like that we're seeing a different part of the story because this part we know so well and it's told so often. The twins came. <laughs> and they were as different as brothers get. Things with Jordan were more challenging. <laughs> Tantrums, night terrors, living in Metropolis, raising two teenage boys, married to the most famous journalist in the world, trying to make the world safer for the people I love. Yep. Oh god. No, you wouldn't worry. Even though you know he is so capable, you would worry every freaking time he flew off there. Bit of an upgrade from his first suit. He's a real hero. Both tracks are man made. That's Oh fuck. Hi, General. Okay, things are going too perfectly for them from the beginning of a show, but I like this. <laughs> the perfect son and the troubled son. Wow, you uh, make a pretty good Superman. Superman's boring. I'm Raiden. Huh. Um. <laughs> Feels like he's always running behind. I have a responsibility to the world as. Well, you've got a bigger responsibility to your family. I totally agree, but at the same time, if he hadn't gone to the nuclear plant, his sons may now have radiation poisoning. The fog needs to lie down, that's all. Get some sleep, Mom. Oh, don't tell me she's gonna die too. Good night, honey. Your parents told you about your real heritage when mm. you were sick. Oh, it was different. I lived on a farm. I had powers. You don't think Jonathan's got something? Test at the fortress said it was unlikely. He's about to be starting quarterback uh -huh. in the most competitive high school. He's definitely at least a little bit edge on edge for them. It doesn't Jordan. And all it's gonna do is make him feel more alien than he already does. Trust me, I've been there. But if he's already feeling alien, it could help explain to him why he's feeling alien. Too dangerous for them to know. It's more dangerous if they don't. Mm-hmm. They slip up through layoffs? I knew when Morgan Edge bought the planet there'd be cuts, but this is unbelievable. Ken! You got a minute? Oof. He's next. Possible fire gears? We're not telling the boys. This would be the perfect time to. Hey, Mom, sorry. I mean, maybe not when they started school, but... Dr. Fry. Oh, no. The stroke. You always think you'll have more time. That overdue visit could wait another week. This is a very cheerful opening. Of all creation, you desire that nothing redeemed by your son will ever be lost. Smallville's not the town it once was. Small town America dying. What's that? It's one o'clock. Don't you need to take your pill or something? Who are you, Mom? She cares. They can't show each other they love each other, but they do. It's great to see you, Lana. Lana. Oh, it's great to see you. She was really special. Even my dad liked her. He hates everyone. <laughs> I think I like this girl. <laughs> I don't know that I like her dad. Well, you 
was just you dating him. That's why Daddy got mad when he saw you on his Facebook page. <laughs> okay, so it's an insecure man when you're married with two daughters, still getting jealous. Everybody else we know moved away. She means bailed. Tough. Look, Twin Cities. He is single-handedly destroying the Daily Planet. People quit reading that paper because uh, you reporters can't keep your politics to yourselves. I just Oof. Pray on this guy is a douche. He, he can keep fooling people. Oh, you mean us dumb, backward, small-town folk? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, phone. Oh, no, not you. <laughs> you could get both of their numbers, but... You. Should I have come back to Smallville more often? No, Clark, he's not right. She's a dick. Your mom knew where you were. Oh, God. Got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus, and he's gonna prove that he's super strong. Oh my god, he protected his brother! Oh he jumped straight on top of his brother to shield him. That was so sweet. That's true brotherly love. Like, are they gonna be completely fine, or are they actually hurt? It was his idea. It's okay. They're fine? Good. They're just gonna figure things out for themselves if we don't tell them. I'm not saying take them out superheroing, hell no, but... You texted her already, didn't you? I don't know, what... Supportive, please. It's hard enough on him having a brother that everything comes easy to, but having one that has powers? Like you don't know for sure whether or not Jordan can do anything either. I can't. I know, but it is a 50-50 parenting decision. He's pulled so far away from me already. Maybe you're letting him in on this thing that he knows you're keeping a secret from him. Because trust me, if Dad started even spending a lot of time outside of the house for no good reason, you come to some other conclusions. It's Kryptonian. You are not a hero, Kal-El. Whoever did this knows who I am. Fuck. Clark. Superman doesn't get to have a normal life no matter how much you want one for him. Or yourself. You can have some- I mean, right now, what good would he do just flying around the city? There is not a currently a problem for him to solve. And his head wouldn't be in the game very well either. Offering reverse mortgages to seniors. Pay now for the opportunity Fuck. to the bank purchase the remainder of the farm upon their death. If the landowner's heirs couldn't repay the balance of the loan. She did it so she could hardly put food on the table. She did it for other people. They need to tell these boys before they figure it out for themselves. Kids will be kids! Clock! I know you want to protect them from the truth, and I completely understand the idea of if one of them is super powered and the other one didn't inherit it, how that could mess them up more. Not quite what you were expecting to find, I'm sure. Not from Kansas. So confront your parents about this, okay? They've got a lot on their minds, but tell them what you discovered. No sneaking around. Two very upset teenage boys. Mm-hmm. So that's why? That's why you never wanted us in the barn? Because you keep a freaking alien ship in there? Oh, fuck. Look, I can explain. Yeah, can you? Brought me to Earth. Landed here in Smallville, right? No Huge moment. I was sent here. Krypton? Yes. Life-altering, world-changing information. Powers. Superman? No, I've seen Superman before. We've seen him. <laughs> Are his glasses made of superpowers that make you not see that it's the same person? Told me I didn't understand either. Mm -hmm. I understand. Don't take it that they've just lied. All the excuses. You made me think I was crazy. They put me on bills. Your mental health has nothing to and do with who you're <sighs> you know that? I'm half human, half whatever the hell he is. Do not yell at your mother, okay? This is not her fault. Yes, but he's struggling. You to know. Why? Or worse, if one of you had them and the other one didn't. That was the wrong way to tell them that. We survived yesterday. The only way that both of you survived that accident is for at least one of you to be like me. You wouldn't have it any other way, would you, Dad? They love you so much, Jordan. Jordan, you sure as hell weren't sent here to be a father. Go after him and talk to him. Like, give him maybe a little bit to call off, but talk to him. Just leave us alone. 
This is why if you told them, at least would have been coming from you first. But I so understand why he didn't as well. It's never easy to know the right choice. Am I a bad father? No. You may have made some mistakes, but you're not a bad father. Oh fuck. It's another nuclear facility. Hey. We're gonna be alright. Mm-hmm. Exactly. This is the time when he needs to go. And his family will be here when he comes back. The boys will get through this and understand. I eventually arrived here where I learned. You were here too. Oof. Whoa. He was expecting you! That happened tonight my dad sleeps on the couch. And my mom gets really mad at him for being checked out, but depression. I took a bunch of my mom's pills. Oh dear sweetheart. I still don't understand why I did it. Mental health is like I've never that. done anything like that before. Lots of therapy and whatever. Therapy is a good thing. No, for a no. I don't know that he's come across many people that have been through similar things to him. And it's good that they're talking about these things. What are you doing? What? Hey! Uh, John! My girlfriend! John, what the hell is your problem? What are you doing with this? It doesn't even matter. Relax. Relax. Girlfriend? Okay. I would have gotten around to it, but you started killing me first. Hey, hey, man, I, I, he I, didn't I, know! God. Oof. Hey. You don't... Okay, look, I'm sorry. This is an overreaction to somebody kissing your girlfriend. I don't care how old you are. <laughs> like, especially if, A, it's very clear from the interaction that he goes, wait, girlfriend? And she says, I was going to tell you that, that clearly he just thought it was a girl that was not currently seeing anybody that he could kiss. Okay, now the person who should have the biggest problem with un with unconsented <laughs> kissing is that girl. This is a totally, like, I'll be back in the 50s reaction. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, see, Jordan hasn't really fought back yet to know whether or not he has any kind of superpower. God, if they do end up moving to Smallville, they're going to be so popular. <laughs> Fucking hell. Aren't you curious? I know so much about you, Callum. Yes. Also, why you didn't think, let's have a fucking discussion. So that scared, lost child, desperate for the love of God. Never accept you. Oh, God. They both have powers, or at least Jordan does. Make you sick. Fucking it all. Superman. Oh god. You could have just had a discussion with him without all of this dramatics. You can fight through this. Clark, come home. Come home. <laughs> Hi. He needs his dad. All I knew is when I fell, I Oof. something come over me. It's a strength I've never had before. Oh, I love both of these boys. Oh. Your family all with you. Parenting superpower teens, welcome to the world. Or at least one superpower teen. You think your mom wanted us to move to Smallville and live on the farm? Simpler life. Uh, more time with each other. Be very different life, very different school for kids. I think she felt like this. Can Lois still work? As much as I think she was right. The boys might need this time and space to figure out who they are. This is how you need to do it. Honest, emotional, available conversations. I will be. Company has secretly acquired your bank? No, I didn't know that. Galaxy Holdings, whose majority shareholder is Morgan Edge. Uh huh. Probably just a methane pocket. Only one boy is very bruised, the other isn't. I wonder if he could activate his powers as well somehow. I just thought that if someone like you had issues, then. 
Someone like me wasn't so messed up. <laughs> Maybe it means we're both. And then everybody knows. And yeah, just... yeah, yeah, yeah. No. She's kids. Shows like this, having kids that are dealing with their mental health and going to therapy and taking medication will be important to make it so that kids don't feel the need to keep it a secret. In Christ, pretty much every single friend I have from school, we're all on antidepressants. The world sucks. Confirms what I've known to be true all along, yeah? yeah. My skills on the field are legit. <laughs> Come on. He might be in a good headspace to take it, compared to the other way around. We'll see. There also might just be a different time they could activate in him. Hey boys. He's not going to be happy about losing his quarterback spot in the super competitive school. Seriously. Those fields aren't going to plow themselves. Okay, but dad, we have questions. Okay, this family. Will you get through it? There are rough patches in any life and in any family. You get through them together. Oh, who is this bitch? I'll start the upgrades to your armor right away, Captain Luthor. Oof. Interesting. Very interesting at the end there. So, Captain Luthor, is that Lex? He was bald enough. Is Lex an alien in this show? Or is that actually Lex Luthor humanoid? pretending because he hates Clark. Obviously we don't know the full, I mean I don't know, this Clark's full history, the different um, enemies he's faced, the different people he's known, we'll find that out more and more as we go on, so that was a very intriguing ending. I absolutely adored the family dynamics in this show. Um, one thing I think it is always good to have is more discussion around mental health and more showcases of kids having it, of parents kind of just wanting the best for their children and struggling to, you know, process the fact that their kids have mental health issues because you want everyone you love to just have no issues and have perfect lives, but none of us live like that. Um, so I, I liked that and seeing the dynamic where the two brothers were so different and you could see that they loved each other and they would, you know, fight for each other, die for each other, but at the same time they're gonna tease each other mercilessly and they would, if anyone ever said, oh you love your brother, they'd be like, oh, fuck you, no I don't. Um, so I really liked that dynamic of the family and seeing the way despite being such a good person and when he is there, such a good and such a loving father, the pressure of having a high, like, very demanding job and being Superman means he's often not with his family. He misses things like therapy the night before high school that maybe could have been important. Obviously he was stopping a nuclear power plant from blowing up, like, I get why he wasn't there that night. So I really enjoyed the dynamic they showed us. It is different to any Superman media I've seen previously because, you know, the majority of Superman things are his younger years, um, I, like I said, I have not finished Smallville and like it was 10 plus years ago that I watched the six seasons I did. I just, the point was actually about 10 years ago and I think when I went to uni I just lost track of where I was watching Smallville and I just never caught up. Um, so I don't know how, I didn't really see him as an, he was only kind of just about becoming an adult when I stopped watching. Um, but obviously that didn't get to the point where we had teenage children so I think it's a really good choice to choose this part of his life that we hadn't seen before and it has the different dynamics of the children finding out like how much they inherited from him and what way they inherited from him and to see this different stage in Clark's life. Um, I'm intrigued like is Lois still going to be able to work for the Daily Planet? I mean technically speaking there is no reason why anybody would need to be physically in the office but they might want her to or is she willing to put that aside? You know she's done that I mean I'm sure if she just created if they were going to use the farm as their primary income, I'm sure she could continue to do some degree of journalism online because she's already made the name for herself. But we will see. I'm not going to get into too much speculation with that. And the idea of Smallville itself, that it's no longer the town it was when Clark grew up, that it is struggling. In a lot of the ways, the old world, as the world changes and moves on, you know, newspapers are dying out. Um, small towns are struggling, small family farms are struggling. And when that is a community's way of life, there are more and more towns and communities where people are losing this town is it's falling apart and losing itself and I think those towns do need to find a different way to go forward but money greedy corporations are not the way this Morgan Edge is going to be an interesting antagonist going forwards I think um I like the idea of the Kent family moving to Smallville I think it's a huge adjustment for the boys I'm glad that they 
t they addressed it to them not in our way telling you we're doing this but in our we're going to discuss this i don't entirely know if jo jonathan had put his foot down and been like no i want my school i don't know whether they would have been like oh, okay um because i do think this can be quite a traumatic move for children but i think there are a lot of benefits to a slower paced life to a degree um to clark being able to be there more for the children to be in this bigger space the same space he was when he was learning about his powers for the boys i think it could be really good for them and i'm very excited to see where the show goes next um intrigued to meet morgan edge eventually um intrigued about captain luthor and yeah i i love tyler heckman's clark kent um and i'm just so excited to see where the rest of the show goes thank you so much Jarell, for sponsoring if you are watching on youtube you can find an edited version of this reaction and all of my reactions to at least season one of superman and lois on my patreon and thank you so much for watching